<coughs> Hello. Um, in a few videos, I've uh, endlessly rattled on about how I'm a military collector. Now, through the previous videos that you've seen, I think it's fair to say that I do collect military. I don't only collect badges, I don't only collect medals, etc. etc. I have a good cross section of stuff. Now, I'm going to show you an example of how some people who only collect a certain aspect of the hobby really fuck it up for everybody else. Now this is an example which came from a well-known English badge dealer collector who only, de only deals and collects in bad badges, nothing else. So I'm going to show you something. I'm going to describe how something was done to a perfectly good item quite a few years ago. So bear with me a second. Now, this came into me about 10 years ago. It's a perfectly good Victorian 1st Volunteer Battalion, the Board Regiment, Scarlet Tunic. Now, this was acquired by a badge dealer in the UK about 10 years ago. Now, because he was a badge dealer collector, all the fancy badges that were on it, on both arms, he got a knife and he cut every single badge off sold the badges separately, sold the tunic separately for scrap. I bought this tunic for about 20 quid and what I did on the shoulder straps there was a trace of what it was, there was a trace of 1V border embroidery so I got a needle and some white thread and I hand embroidered all the insignia back on there and through looking at what was left where the, where the thread had been cut there was a trace of the shape of the badges and through eBay I bought the badges, that's not the right colour, I bought the badges, um, the service chevrons, the sort of skillet arms things, the service lozenge, these were all bought on eBay, the, the fancy embroidery to both sleeves, that I hand did that with a needle and thread to restore it back to the original, however one, what I can't get is whatever was on it probably won't show up but on here and there there's two distinctive there we are, there's two which I can see you probably can't see it there's two distinctive patches where some sort of Victorian skillet arms badges were which I can't get I'll never get so that's ruined a perfectly good tunic however I have managed to source the original volunteer border collar badges which are just white metal collar badges but without the battle honours so this is an example of how somebody who only collects a certain aspect can ruin a perfectly good uniform and sell it for scrap and then I've done my best to get it back together again to get replacement insignia um, so I've got three tunics so I'll show them next this, this is the first volunteer battalion the border regiment quite a nice tunic now but it'll never be the same again because of the way the guy removed everything off it and sold it all so it was a perfectly good tunic so this is what I constantly mean about people who only collect a certain item they'll take off what they want throw away the rest um, so we'll see you for another video shortly bye